it is a grey, cold, miserable day up here, so why not talk about penguins? It has been five days since the John Lewis Christmas advert was released, and everyone is still going crazy about Monty the Penguin. Someone who didn't even exist five days ago is now being portrayed as the hero of the internet, the hero of Christmas. I just don't know what to think anymore. For those of you who don't know, John Lewis is a chain of upmarket department stores across the UK which prides itself on its slogan, Never Knowingly Undersold. And that's literally all I know about it. I've never had the need to go into a John Lewis store. But for the last few years, the unveiling of the John Lewis Christmas advert has become quite an event in the calendar, even being bigger than the Coca-Cola advert. Good lord, now I hear you say. Some people even now say that the unveiling of the advert marks the start of Christmas, and if you truly believe that, then commercialism has taken over and God help your poor misguided soul. This year's advert features an incredibly cute CGI penguin called Monty, which yeah, I guess everyone can sort of relate to. I remember being five years old and having my little cute CGI penguin walking about with me. We'd go on trips down to the local pond and he'd think it was frozen, he'd jump onto it and he'd fall in and it was like, oh, Oh, funny. And then we'd go down the toy store and he'd pretend to be a cuddly toy and would scare customers passing by. You know, happy, fun-filled memories of my childhood with CGI penguins, which obviously never happened. But of course, everyone is hailing it as some sort of Pingu-style second coming. Now, I'm not one to have a go at adverts. I mean, they help me pay the bills. <laughs> Slight in-joke there. But there's something about this year's advert that slightly grinds at my gears. Several years ago, when the first Harry Potter film came out, that's what, what now, 2002? Jesus Christ, a long time ago. Youngsters watched Harry Bond with his pet owl Hedwig, and they thought, yeah, actually, I want a pet owl for myself. And unfortunately, there were some parents who just couldn't put up with their child's constant nagging of, please get me an owl. You want me to be happy, don't you? Which meant there was suddenly this problem of owls being bought as pets and generally just causing mayhem among families, because as any sane person would know, owls do not make good pets. Thankfully, those days are long behind us now, or at least so I thought. But then the John Lewis advert came along, and everyone's seeing just how much of an intimate, fun relationship that exists between the child and Monty the Penguin. And suddenly kids are saying, I want a penguin for Christmas. My worry? It's going to happen all over again. We're going to have parents suddenly opening presents on Christmas Day for their kids, and out pops a little penguin, which for the first day, you know, is going to be a lot of fun. You can feed it fish, it'll flap its flippers and make crazy cawing sounds, and everyone's like, oh, it's lovely, great addition to our family but it's only a matter of time. The United Kingdom is not ready for penguins. Yes, they might look cute and fluffy and cuddly, but no, they do not make good pets. The UK would not be able to cope with a full-on penguin invasion that this Christmas could hold. First of all, penguins need places to swim. And unless you've got access to a pond, a lake, or a swimming pool in your back garden, then I reckon you're gonna have a hard time meeting its demands. Secondly, penguins eat things like krill, silverfish, and generally other things that you find in the Antarctic and not the UK. I'm pretty certain if you're going down to your local pet store, you're not going to have silverfish or krill on the back shelves, aren't they? Thirdly, I was shocked to learn today that penguins actually participate in prostitution. This is no lie as well. I read it on Wikipedia, and Wikipedia knows stuff. Penguins use stones for building their nests. Based on a 1998 study, media reports stated that a shortage of stones led female Adelaide penguins to trade sex for stones. Some pair bonded female penguins copulate with males who are not their mates and then take pebbles for their own nests. We can't be having that. I don't want to be walking along the street and seeing a penguin casually leaning up against a traffic light post. No, no, that is not the country that I want to be part of. Basically, this video is being sent out as a warning to kids across the UK. Do not ask Father Christmas for a penguin as a pet. Even though he lives in the North Pole, I'm pretty certain he would make the journey out of the South Pole to pick them up if you ask for one. So please do not, because it'll be fun for the first few days, and then suddenly there'll be masses and masses of penguins being kicked out of people's houses because they've torn up the carpets, they've vomited fish onto the garden hedge, I don't know, something like that. And suddenly you'll be walking along and you'll see penguins everywhere throughout, throughout the streets. And the UK has got enough problems as it is without penguins being everywhere. It's just... Uh, it worries me every day thinking about it. Leave penguins where they belong and everyone will be happy. Oh, it feels good to get that off my chest. One final thing before I go. The advert sort of culminates with Monty looking for love and then that's where the whole Christmas element comes in. He gets a mate for Christmas, which is lovely. But do they really need to show animals of another species finding love to get to us emotionally? Surely humans finding love is a perfectly good example of what Christmas is all about, but no. Got to be penguins, hasn't it? 
I just, I despair at TV sometimes. Okay, I need to go and rethink my life, obviously. See you guys soon. Yeah, it's not the best anagram in the world, but you get the idea.